I remember that fight, back when Jake was coming up the ranks. Looks like Dunn liked to measure his daughter and Bobby Yeo each year. Sonia's measurements stop at 18, and there's a gap in Bobby's between ages 15 and 17. Is that done? Wow. I once shredded a bag like that, just out of pure rage. What leads a man to do something like this? Life's already dealt me a fair share of blows, but... doesn't add up. Hmm. On the surface, it seems dry, but there's no dust. And it's damp underneath. It could have fallen the day Dunn died. Hmm. The racist brain is so full of hatred that there's no space for trifles such as common sense or, say, spelling. But this most cultured writer spotted the error and attempted to correct it, not sure what to make of the outcome. True detective never leaves home without his... Huh? Uh, sometimes even the most experienced detective has to go home to get his lockpicks.
Hmm. I hope that wasn't a client. Although probability would suggest a cold call. Or, even worse, the War Veterans Therapy Group. Hmm. Yeah, I was pretty sure I left the lockpicks on the table. What if the only thing that keeps you going is the very thing that won't let you move on? The past is a worm, a big fat worm, inching towards the present, swallowing everything in its path. What did you do to earn the admiration of a millinery culture, distant cousin? Sometimes, I also use it to type out reports that nobody reads and invoices that nobody pays. You can't really call yourself a detective if you're a teetotaler, but that's not what that bottle is for. The truth? I use tequila to clean my lockpicks. In fact, I just finished cleaning them when that rhino walked in. Maybe we knocked them down during the fight. Good old Weekly did a fine job with these pictures. Maybe I should give him a call. He'll be thrilled to know just how much this guy's gonna pay us to keep quiet. I wonder if that rhino would ever have the nerve to use it. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that? Is that you? You got me. How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work, as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself. End of story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single man on the case. Why are you asking? You know I'm bound by client detective confidentiality privileges. And you know I'm bound by law enforcement confidentiality. If you find anything relevant or start feeling a bit more talkative, give me a call. Always a pleasure, John. Hey, Weekly, this is... John, did you get my pictures? Yes, and... That rhinoceros has one big horn. Uh... uh... And the girl, <laughs> damn. You want me to find out her name? Please, pretty please. No, Weekly. Look. Just forget it for now. I only called to tell you that those photos are top class. news. 
actually, I'm working on a case for the gym owner. But you're putting me on the spot here. Let me settle into things before you do anything, will you? All right, but make it quick. See ya. Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so... So, so, uh, 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 I don't know. That means I'm a detective. No way! My Uncle John is a real detective, and he's way cooler than you. Wait a minute. You're, you're Uncle John! Uncle John! I guessed it! I'm a detective, too. Mom, it's Uncle John! I guessed it! You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I win? Hmm. What do you want? I want... I want... a gun! Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang! Good guys don't carry guns, Ray. You know why? Because they always end up shooting someone. Hey, Donna. Bang, bang, bang! Well, I just landed an unexpected case. One that actually pays. Hey, that is unexpected. You? Getting paid? <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that. Hey, we're kind of in a hurry. Ray's got a dentist appointment. I'll call you soon, okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. One last thing. Have you heard from Dad lately? Not since his last letter. Same old, same old. Okay, now I really have to go. Bye, John. Bye, Uncle John. Black sad here. Please don't tell me my husband. You have nothing to worry about, Mrs. Colbert. Do me a favor and enjoy your family. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Mr. Black Sad. Yep, that's where I left my lockpicks. The past is a worm. Bookkeeping is not my strong suit. I'm good with expenses. It's the income I don't get. A visiting friend once told me that New York City smells like a giant bonfire. I'd say the smell is rubbed off on me.
Police Commissioner Smirnov smoked that cigarette. Judging by the way he put it out, he was pretty nervous. Smells good. Tasted even better the day Smirnov brought it, in exchange for a favor. A favor no cop should ever be paid for. I never understood why I had to be born in New York. But the real issue is why I'm still here. Most detectives feel safe with a gun in their pocket. Me, I prefer lockpicks. At least I know these little fellows won't backfire. back in no time. You made a crappy impression, and now Sonia has second thoughts about you. Bobby Yale's place was on the way. So I decided to drop by, lock picks in hand. The gym could wait. Sonia and Jake had already searched the place to no avail. but a good detective would have better luck. I know it might not seem like it, but... When someone hits you like that, you know you are to something. It's only fair to show some gratitude. Well, well, well. Long time no see. My wife just called me. I owe you one. Now leave before my partner... Damn cat. Well done, Colbert. Now... <laughs> How about this? For every wrong answer, I'm gonna give it to you with this club. Deal? Didn't we just witness your lack of aim? Wrong answer. First, well, second question. What the hell are you doing here? Shamrock? Is he Irish? It should start to swell any moment now.
Alrighty. Let's try again. What the hell are you doing here? Are you of Irish descent? I've got an Irish boss, just like my friend Colbert here. I'm sure the name O'Leary rings a bell, right? Desmond O'Leary. If you live in New York City, you've certainly heard of the richest bookie in town. After everything that's happened, I was beginning to feel like this case was finally moving forward. Wrong answer! But I was wrong. Alrighty. Let's try again. What the hell are you doing here? I know your friend Colbert. And his wife. Now he wants to insult you. Alright then. He's all yours. <sighs> Alright. Now it's your turn. I'll call the boss. I want you to yell like I'm beating the crap out of you, okay? Desmond. We caught some damn detective snooping around Bobby Yale's place. Yeah, hired by Dunn's daughter. Safe and sound? What do you mean, exactly? Hmm. Oh, sure. Will do. Colbert! Stop hitting him, you beast! What a shame. We were just getting to know each other. 